I've been playing Ground Slam Slayer for over a week now, and I've made a few changes that I think makes it feel a bit better for me. So this entire wheel I just got rid of, alongside this other wheel that gives us 100% ignore physical resistance. Honestly, it doesn't even feel bad. There aren't that many monsters that are physical resistant, and when they are, you kill them just a little slower. Not too bad. I've also removed some small life notes for now. I plan on adding them back afterwards, but for now, it, it's okay. I now use this different path to connect to the tree on the left side. Take note, I'm picking up the endurance charge duration here and getting rid of two nodes on the left. I also removed the life and mana wheel up here and instead got cannibalistic right for mana. Now I haven't done this yet, but I plan on picking up another endurance charge duration node up here, which I'll explain later. The biggest change and most important change is I picked up the fortify nodes, which lets us drop fortify support for some more damage. So the gems are different now. I also temporarily picked up some armor using the armor and chain node because my gear sucks right now and I need some help with resistance, but I'll be removing this later when I get better gear. I'll probably remove it for some of those life nodes that I dropped earlier. I still have Admonisher and I crafted Warcrimes don't exert travel skills on my belt instead, so I could change the Warcry Mastery to remove damaging ailments instead. I got rid of the heal 15% uh, Warcry Mastery because I felt like it wasn't really that useful. And I plan on picking up the accuracy nodes next to Admonisher, but for now, since I have enough accuracy, I'll probably get them as I level up more and change gear. So let's go through some of the reasoning for some of the changes I'm making. I'm picking up Fortify on the tree so we can drop Fortify support gem, and we put in a higher damage gem. So my five link setup is Fist of War, Melee Fizz, Pulverize, and Overexertion. Oh, and Ground Slam, of course. And the sixth link, I would add Brutality. Now, I chose not to include Brutality in the 5 link because if you actually look at the numbers of Pulverize and Melee Fizz, you'll see that they actually provide a higher damage multiplier than Brutality. The only difference is, is they'll lower your attack speed. But for the way I was playing, which was jumping in front of a pack of mobs and trying to kill them all in one hit, I just needed that damage number to be higher. And it feels a lot better for me personally. It's also important to note that it only feels good if you cast Blood Rage at the beginning of the map, as well as Anoint Hatchet Master on your amulet. So I picked up the Endurance Charge uh, duration nodes because there's a Searing X Arch implicit that lets you gain Endurance Charge every X amount of seconds. And by picking up those two nodes, uh, the Endurance Charge is now 14 seconds, which means all we need is to use a Greater Ember uh, to get 14 seconds, and we'll never have to use the Endurance Cry every so often. Uh, this is a quality of life setup, and it is not optimal. But it's optimal for me because I constantly forget to use Endurance Cry, so it actually might be best in slot for me, actually. I might even drop it Drop some life nodes to get up right now. So how strong is the build? Using the 5 link setup with Fortify, uh, I found all my Void Zones and completed a tier 17 map using pretty much the same gear as last time. And I think to get the Void Zones is perfectly fine. Um, I killed Uwe Elder in about like 4 minutes and Maven in, in 8 or 9. But bro, don't even try to do this in a tier 17 with the 5 link. That shit took me 20 minutes and I failed a bunch of tier 17s actually. I've never actually slowed one before. Uh, and usually get carried, so I don't actually know the mechanics of the bosses, which probably played a part in it. And as well as this tier 17, it also has a more life modifier. But even taking that into account, I feel like the single target just isn't as good as Earthquake. If you're playing this build, I'd definitely stick to mapping. 